So the question here says, find the determinant. Welcome back to my channel. If you are the first time here, this is Ratana Zanaque, uh, the Learning Lab community. Welcome. All right, so we are told to find the determinant. This is algebra review. Find the determinant of the three by three matrix. Uh, there is no other instruction. So uh, that I don't think they want us to, uh, it doesn't matter what we use. So I'm about to use my calculator to find the determinant. So that's the first method. After using my calculator, I will do it by hand using metrics of minus. So the first method I will use is evaluate the determinant by my calculator. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is find where determinant is here. We, I think we already know where it is. So this is determinant second. Then I will edit this determinant. And I want it to be in A. So that A is what I'm doing. So I hit enter. And then it's asking me, what is the dimension? This is a three by three matrix, three by three square matrix. So I'm going to tell my calculator. It is a three, enter by three, enter. Okay, so it gave me three by three columns there, filled with zeros. So now I'm going to put in the numbers, <clears throat> the numbers. So two, enter, three, enter, two, enter. Notice that is entering horizontally. So the first row is entered. Now I'm going to enter the second row. Three, enter, seven, enter, three, enter. So now I'm done with the second row. Now I'm going to edit the last row, which is the third row. Five, enter, nine, enter, five, enter. Now you have to be very careful that it is the dimension of the matrix you are given that you put in and the numbers are entered correctly. If you mistakenly put another digit there, your answer will be wrong. So it will be good to check back and make sure that eyeball what you entered and make sure that uh, you didn't make any mistake. All right. Now I will exit this uh, window and come back. So second quit. Time to evaluate the determinant. This is really very easy. If you're allowed to use the calculator to evaluate the determinant, it's very easy. So now I'm going to go back and collect uh, determinant of A. So second determinant. This time I'm doing matrix math. So I'm going to stop at math. Notice that number one says determinant. So I'll select number one. And my blinker is asking me, which determinant do you want to evaluate? I want to evaluate that A. So I will tell my calculator. So I go second, determinant, I will select A. A is a three by three, hit enter, close parenthesis. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the determinant of A. So my calculator can actually give me the answer if I know which button to press. If I know which button to press, my calculator will give me the correct answer. So this is a way of checking my answer. They will not always ask me to find the determinant. They might ask me to find the determinant by a matrix of minus. <clears throat> Therefore, the determinant of this uh, matrix is zero and my calculator is correct, always correct. So, so we have used calculator to evaluate the determinant. The determinant is zero, but what if we are told to use matrix of minus? 
to find this determinant. Then we must use matrix of minus. Even if you use the calculator, yeah, you're still, you're still gonna get a zero. So let's evaluate this determinant using matrix of minus, and which is algebraically. There's actually three methods of doing many methods, actually four or five methods, but I'm using matrix of minus for now. Okay. So before I use matrix of minus, I want to, first of all, uh, make sure that I find the matrix of signs. So we are reviewing this to make sure that, so I'm gonna plus, minus, plus. For the first row, minus, plus, minus. Second row, plus, minus, plus, or third row. <clears throat> now, I want to uh, use matrix of minus for row one, column one. Row one, this is row one here. This is column one. So I am doing matrix of minus for row one, column one. The cross, the one I cross now is two. So I want to find the minus for two. So two, by the way, for two, that is a positive, that's why. So plus two, and the matrix of minus for two is just, just uh, the remaining numbers that I did not cancel out. So seven, three, nine, five. Okay. <clears throat> Now I am going to uh, find the matrix of minus for three, the one, the middle, because I'm doing row one, column one. So, <clears throat> so I want to find the matrix of, actually, let me change color. I'll change to red this time. Then remember that the sign for, uh, for, one, two is negative, so I have, have negative three here. And then the minor, the two by two matrix that is associated with this will be cancel this, cancel this, whatever three num uh, four numbers remaining. So I have three, three, five, five. All right, so three. Three, five, five. <clears throat> okay, now I want to do the last one. I'm going to actually get uh, another color. Let me get a black color to do two. So two, everything I did not cancel out will be now I am going to put it here. So two goes with plus there. The two by two for two will be all the things I did, all the numbers I did not cross with black. So three, seven, three, seven, five, nine, Remember that this is two. Okay, time to evaluate the two by two matrix and the cofactor outside. Seven times five is 35. So I have two outside parentheses, 35 minus nine times three is 27. Parentheses. Then I'll bring this one here. It is negative. Minus, I'm just put it here, negative, three, parenthesis, evaluate the two by two matrix here, three times five is 15, minus three times five is 15 again. Then bring down the two outside, evaluate the minor, which is the two by two matrix there, three times nine, is 27 
27 minus uh, three time, five times seven is uh, 35. Okay, so time to evaluate the determinant. My calculator gave me that the determinant is zero. So I want to make sure, I want to calculate it by hand and see if the determinant is gonna be zero too. Of course, my calculator was correct. So 35 minus uh, 27 is eight. So here I have two times eight. Here, 15 minus 15 is zero. Negative three times zero is zero. This is plus two. Uh, 27 minus 35 is eight. Eight times two is negative eight. All right, let's look at this. Well, this goes, this is negative. So it actually goes with this. So the determinant that A, so that A is equal to zero. So my calculation algebraically checks with the one that my calculator gives me. But you see, if this is a test and you use the calculator to get the determinant is zero, and the question did not ask you to do it by hand, what's your, what's your time doing it by hand? Okay, so the only time you do it by hand is you are asked to do it algebraically. So the only way, the only time you reason why you use your calculator is to check your work. If you're told to do it uh, algebraically, then do it algebraically. If you're told to do it, uh, just find the determinant. Oh, then use the calculator. Okay. So uh, this is how to find the determinant using the calculator. Okay, well suppose, I'm gonna clean this. <clears throat> so this is how to find the determinant, three by three determinant using the, the calculator. And you can do it also by hand. So um, if the question doesn't ask you, tell you the method to use, and you know how to use your uh, calculator to find a determinant. By all means, do that so that you save your th yourself some time. Okay. All right. So um, 